Councillor uh, Austin. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, so it was an interesting hearing. Um, I wanted to start off with um, two of the things that I don't think this is about um, that did factor into the discussion last night. Uh, the first is traffic. Uh, we had some speakers referencing traffic as a concern out here. On the peninsula, 50% of people are going to take bus, they're going to walk, they're going to bike. Like that's what we already know from the stats. So. Um, Putting this building here, I mean, this is a good place for that from a transportation management point of view, um, allowing the same growth out on the edges. Everyone's going to take their car. You'd have 90, 95 percent people taking the car if we accommodate the growth else, elsewhere. So uh, I don't think, uh, and the other piece is we don't live our lives in that 8 in the morning at exactly 8.01. Everyone comes down to the lobby all together and then they all go out together in, uh, in their cars jamming the street, right? Our, our lives are more complicated. So I think traffic on the this one's a bit of a red herring. Uh, the other, p other one that um, we heard about, and this one came from the proponents, um, is the economics. Um, that, well, if we don't have 25 stories, we don't have a project here. I was curious of the kind of history of this property, and they bought this property in 1997. So they've had this property for 20 years, collecting rent on it, after they bought it from, uh, I think it was Great West Life, Life it was a life insurance company. Great West. So they've bought this, they've had it for 20 years. Um, our office market is, we have a 20% vacancy. So right now there's a lot of pressure in the commercial side of it. Uh, the buildings, your new, your new construction, your Nova centers, your Waterside center, you know, Purdy's, uh, it's, it's to their advantage. The office market, the ones, the, the down uh, buildings, your class B's, that's where they're gonna feel the pressure. That's why a project's attractive here, because it's a 19, it's, it's an old office building that to compete, they're going to have to do one of two things, either accept more vacancy as tenants move, or they're going to have less rent. So um, the economic case here that suddenly at 25 stories, this, I mean, I don't see it. The other piece is in their analysis, and they, I asked the question of clarification in the debate, you know, what's, how much is your business case based on that you're valuing your existing building. And I mean, that's in the mix there. And I just, you know, it's like going down to the car dealership with my 10-year-old uh, Toyota Matrix and saying, well, this thing was worth 20,000 when I bought it. I want that money back, right? And then I'll calculate my new one so that I get a Lexus. It just doesn't make sense to me. Um, and we've had the, we've had it said to us, but we've been given no numbers. So, I mean, I don't think that's relevant to our decision. So it comes down to, whether or not we think the form here is appropriate, whether the doing this now with the center plan is appropriate. And we heard a lot of speakers um, defending the center plan's principle of 20 stories. Um, this is optional, so we don't have to enter into this. Um, so with something that's optional, I think we have to give weight to the center plan, um, what the public has bought into that we've been talking about for the last year and, and more. Um, to disregard that, we have to have a darn good reason. Maybe there is a darn good reason if we're going to get some benefits out of this. So we had reference to sidewalks, having a better sidewalk. Um, I was looking at the street there, and I think there's potential, um, you know, maybe the developer can pay for it. Uh, on Quinpool Road, the section right in front of the building, well, you've got this slip lane, uh, what do you call them in Coal Harbor? Pork chops, right? The, the little slip lane there and the whole kind of lane that goes down Windsor. That's a lane we don't need. That could be sidewalk. We could have a beautiful plaza in front of this building. There could be a roundabout. <laughs> but, you know, there is space here to work with. We could do more on the sidewalk, um, the undergrounding of wires, the affordable housing. There might be reasons to allow this to be 25 versus 20, but what we have right now, I mean, I, I think we need a, some sort of staff report to come back to us on because there's no mention of it in our report because it's all been late breaking. We have a three-paragraph basically form letter from Housing Nova Scotia saying, thank you for your interest. We would, we would like to discuss more with you. Well, we, we can't make a decision on this. I don't see how we can do that. Um, I, I could be convinced about 25 if we have a lot of good public benefit that's, you know, just says, yes, this is definitely better, but uh, I don't see it right now. So I, I think we'll, I'll, I'll let some of my colleagues on the peninsula decide what to do with it. But I, I really think we need a staff report because right now my vote on this, I'm pretty sure is yes for what's on the floor, but I would also support a deferral to look at, uh, to look at, so, at some of the other public benefits if we're going to do something else. So that's where I'm at on it. Thank you.
Thank you, Councillor. Councillor.